Hey there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another Scorpio Octabulous Love Reading, Scorpio. Scorpio, this is your weekend love vibes. Scorpio, I hope this video finds you guys doing absolutely amazing. I hope that you are manifesting your butts off, Scorpio, because this is your life. And you deserve whatever you put the energy forth into getting, Scorpio. So uh, manifest wisely, Scorpio, because this is your time to shine, Scorpio. Now, Scorpio, this is a general, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. So only take the part that fits and discard the rest, Scorpio. You know how this goes. Uh, I want to welcome my new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for your support. I really do appreciate you, Scorpio, for the thumbs up because... Uh, you know, YouTube is on a different algorithm now. They're just, you know, this is this is their platform. So the algorithm is a little bit off now, you know. So if you wouldn't mind, if this uh, reading does resonate, I ask that you please uh, thumbs up this video. Uh, if you are new, subscribe to this channel, perhaps. And, of course, leave me a, a positive, high vibrational comment, Scorpio. And let's continue to grow and just elevate together, Scorpio, because it's elevation time, Scorpio. After all, it's harvesting time, Scorpio. So I'm going to be pulling from the Psychic Tarot for the Heart, Scorpio. And your overall energy is seek the truth here. So this is your overall energy here. Something about giving and receiving could be of significance to you here. And I also see that MasterCard in the reverse here. So let's see. Some of you guys have mastered your emotions because you got the, this is the devil card in reverse. Some of you guys have, uh, you know, really did a good uh, cleansing in your energy here. And so let's see here because it seems like you need to go within, uh, you know, go within, tap into your higher self to find out something about yourself because that's usually what it is. Uh, you master yourself, and I feel like the knowledge for everything else that, that is for you, you will obtain that as well. So, Spirit, show me what's going on in Scorpio's heart space for this weekend. Love I, Spirit. What does Scorpio need to know? What does Scorpio need to be made aware of, Spirit, in this current weekend? Love vibes for Scorpio, Spirit, show me. Culture. Darkest fears here. The seven, you got the nine of swords here. That's that anxious energy, that overwhelming energy, that worry, that stress energy. Some of you guys are focusing on the wrong thing and you need to choose your battle. Meaning, what are you what are you pouring your energy in? Sometimes you're pouring your energy into the wrong thing uh, or you're absorbing the wrong thing and it could bring in, open a door for your fears to manifest here, Scorpio. So it's almost like Spirit is telling you, choose your battle. Some things you don't even need to uh, entertain. If it's not going to elevate you spiritually, Scorpio, that's going to help you emotionally, don't take it in because it can affect you here. So I also understand that that's part of what it means too. So let me pull another card here. That's a side note. Because I'm going to read them. So be patient with me today, Scorpio. Lead. What else for Scorpio spirit? Go to that heart chakra. Opening up that heart chakra for you, Scorpio. One more card, spirit for Scorpio. It came out anyway. Heart chakra. So that's what it is then. Awaiting results is underneath the bottom here. Make room. I have enough room. So let's see here. Now, understand this heart chakra here is represented for you to get ready to, uh, the universe is trying to heal you, uh, heal your heart space so that you can be more open. You know, you have to work. It's like whatever we need, whatever we find lacking on the external is because of something internal that we need to work on. And it's just a chakra, just a simple thing as a chakra here. <clears throat> so bear with me, Scorpio. So the seek the truth energy right here, Scorpio, it talks about uh, intuition, question, deception, inequity, 
um, it says, be wary of one-sided relationships in which the other person is not participating fully or is avoiding obligations and responsibility. Now is the ideal opportunity to get to the bottom of this behavior. And certainly at all times, be sure that your role in your relationship is above board and based on honesty here. So Spirit's telling you to be honest, be to, no, seek the truth, uh, be honest with yourself. If you're dealing with people, and it don't always have to be a romantic relationship. We're talking about life. Whatever life consists of, it's, it's about that, Scorpio. I feel like you have to use the same techniques they apply for any and every situation. You're going to have to tap into your intuition, and you're going to have to recognize when you're in an imbalanced relationship. It doesn't matter what, what type of relationship. It has to be equal. It has to be balanced. There's no way you're going to constantly give and no one give back to you without leaving yourself drained. And there's no way you could be with someone and just take from them and not sow back into them. So I feel like spirit is telling you, look, it's time for you to realize and just be honest with yourself. Uh, are you really getting satisfaction? Are you really fulfilled with the people that you're around, the job, the, the, the place you live, wherever here? So spirit is telling you to make those judgment calls to, to, to put yourself above. And, and, and when, when you see it there, don't act like you don't see it because it'll save you a lot of unnecessary stress in the past because you know, because this is what it say in the in the beginning of this about you listening to your intuition here, Scorpio. It says intuition is a powerful ally. And now is a good time to follow and trust your inner promptings here. See, it's just telling you don't second guess yourself about certain things because you already know. And the beautiful thing about spirit, Scorpio, is sometimes you can just read a person's energy when you really tapped into your intuition because it is not going to let you down. Listen to it. I better, I, I would rather miss out on the opportunity than to regret, you know, making a choice with someone here, Scorpio. And now you have this nine of, you have this darkest fears here. This card here, you got two blues. This must be air. It says anxiety, doubt, resolve, release. It says, having love in your life is crucial. When a relationship does not go as planned or when a desired relationship does not materialize, it's easy to lose yourself in worry and doubt. It says, don't let your anxiety paralyze you, Scorpio, into total state of inaction. Dwelling on your worries only feeds them with energy, see? Allowing them to consume you and overshadow everything else, see? Whatever you put the majority of your energy in is what you're going to get back. We don't get what we intend. We have to, well, we don't get what we meant. We get what we intended. Like you're doing it carelessly. You, you didn't mean that. No, whatever you setting your intentions on, that's the vibration. The universe is going to catch that vibration and give it right back to you. Because that's what it operates on. It operates on the vibration that we set it to be. That's when the magician energy come in. You're the magician. You set your energy. You set your atmosphere. You set the direction that you want your, your objectives to go so that it comes back to you in the same form, if not better. So if you're sowing darkness, if you're sowing negative energy, you're worrying about things, you're not really trusting. Because at the end of the day, that's what it's about, trusting. Trusting the unknown, trusting the things that your eyes cannot see and still stepping out on faith and making those move in spite of Scorpio. Because remember, uh, you only have, you got this one life here. There's no such thing as failure here. The only thing that, that, that says you're a failure is when you don't even try. But I feel like spirit is telling you, you know, in order to obtain the things that you really desire, especially those relationships, you can't always worry about it. You can't always bring stress you're going to have to make up your mind. That's why we saw that choose your battle. You're going to have to make up your mind whether you want love. Do, is it worth you fighting for your freedom into loving? At least love? Now, let's not even talk about a person. Let's just talk about just your freedom of just being able to freely love. If you can freely love without all of this darkest fears and this stress, you're already doing good. Now you have leads. This is what spirit wants you to do. Take the lead. You know, stop being a victim of your own thought, Scorpio, when you're so much more powerful than you deserve, than you say or that you even act like. So spirit wants you to embody this lead energy, Scorpio. Uh, you may even have to take on more of a masculine approach to things in order to get things done here. You know, like, you remember that song, Beyonce, if I was a boy, 
You know, it seemed like if you were masculine, you wouldn't have to deal with all those emotional things. But really, the masculines deal with it, too. It's not about the, 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 the situations. It's about how we act in those situations here, Scorpio. And sometimes there can be just as challenging here, Scorpio. So I feel like it's equally rough on the masculines, just like it is the feminines. But sometimes your femininity gets in the way of your judgment and have you too, too, too feminine too emotional to, to think past the negative until you take the lead here in a more masculine approach. I feel like it says guide, prioritize, act, structure, effort, reason. It says in the matters of the heart, Scorpio, the energy of this card can both help and hinder. Examine the role that you play in your relationships. Do not take the lead and guide the direction of the relationship or do you follow the other person? If you lead, are you forcing your will on the other person? If you follow, are your own needs being met? A solid relationship involves, gives, and take lead and follow. There has to be an even exchange of energy. And this is true for all relationships. This card reminds you, Scorpio, to guide, not dominate. This card focuses on the intellectual rather than the emotional. See, side of the relationship. See, I just said that. Because when we start judging things by our emotions, Scorpio, we miss out every time. Because we can always see the glitter and the gold in the pile of shit, Scorpio. <laughs> we were like, no, no, no. I got the Febreze. I got that new improved bleach. I'm going to take this shit home and I'm going to clean it up and it's going to be as good as new. And spirit be like, oh, child, child, no, 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 Scorpio, no, no, baby, no, 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 it's okay, sweetheart, it's just, just rest yourself, honey, it, 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 it's just shit, it, that, that's all it is, yeah, 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 you see the peanuts, you see all the, uh, all the greens, all the veggies, yeah, that, that, that's shit, Scorpio, you, you can't do nothing with that, that's waste, <laughs> Spirit said, get out your feelings, god dang it, Scorpio, and go on and boss up and get whatever you want, because you get more respect when you know what you want and when you stand in your own authority and it's not in an arrogance way. It's just knowing what you want and what you deserve in your life. And that that alone demands respect, Scorpio. I'm telling you, that's beautiful. See, ooh, Scorpio. So it says, when the opportunity arrives, oh, wait a minute, I'm on the, oh, I'm on the wrong one. Okay. It just broke it down with that masculine energy, that masculine, that feminine energy, Scorpio. It says, how is the relationship serving those involved? If a relationship is to be healthy and strong, everyone's needs must be met. <laughs> there has to be sufficient structure in order so that each person knows the boundaries each person must make the opportunity or the relationship a priority and put effort into making it strong. If you're looking for a romantic relationship, Scorpio, are you actively searching or are you hoping someone will simply show up in your life? <laughs> That's a old snap moment, Scorpio. Spirit is snapping at you, honey. I ain't doing You see spirit doing it. I ain't doing it. <laughs> It says, Scorpio, this is a card of action, of being proactive, not reactive. Take the lead, network, make yourself available, Scorpio. This is the uh, emperor. Ooh, this the emperor. Spirit say, get it, baby. Get it, Scorpio, because you can get it. Spirit say, go forward. Just get it. An uh, emperor ain't worried. You think an emperor, uh, uh, this type of strong masculine energy is worried about anything? Should they be and achieved it before they can even realize that they can't achieve it? That's how powerful they are because their, their, their faith is in action. And, and the more you take the lead and do things, the more you're going to build more and more of it in you, Scorpio. Now this hard energy, Scorpio, this last one. Spirit trying to open up your heart. Spirit say, just calm down, child. God dang. It says, I love. It's time for you to find out. It's almost like spirit is trying to get Scorpio reacquainted with love from a healthy perspective, the right way here. Because most of the time we learn love 
through trial and error. We don't know that that's, that's something that you learn because I don't care how many things people tell you and how many uh, love books for dummies you read. It's nothing like that physical experience. So your experiences could have been very, very bad till it has closed you up. So now Spirit is trying to give you another opportunity and a very fresh perspective on life and love and how you are to obtain a healthy relationship. That way, when you first meet somebody, you don't chase their ass. You never, never, ever chase their ass, Scorpio. Never. Because you're going to end up being the chaser and they're going to end up running. If you want them to chase you, Scorpio, all you got to do is run. <laughs> all you got to do is just run. Just run, run, run. I'm talking about run and they will chase. That's just how it is. This is just how the vibration is. It's weird, ain't it? But that's how it is down here on this thing they call Earth. It says, um, okay, so this deals with your chakra represents unconditional. Your heart chakra represents unconditional love, Scorpio. Compassion, harmony, relationships, and healing. It's believed to be the link between your mind, your body, and your soul. Uh, so it says that, uh, that to activate this chakra, take a moment to send from your heart's loving, healing energy in the form of blue and green waves. Blue for peace, green for healing. Send this to everyone and everything unconditionally. This love will be returned to you for your own healing. Scorpio, see? Just paying it short forward, but you have to already be in a healed heart space in order to want. Because sometimes you be in such a negative heart space, you don't want to help nobody and do nothing for nobody. You just become useless. I'm just saying, Scorpio. But you're not useless, Scorpio, unless you put yourself like that. So let's let's see what your uh, tarot cards are. Now, your overall energy, though, which is beautiful. It is, because we're using the good tarot today, you have the nine of water here. This is emotional fulfillment here. This is satisfaction, Scorpio. This is contentment here. Uh, so you're happy. See, the universe is finding you in a very, very good energy here, Scorpio. And if you're not in this energy, I feel like Spirit is telling you to take the lead towards your happiness because it's here for you. It's not going to fall in your lap. Sometimes, every once in a while, them little nuggets fall and you be like, wow. But sometimes, the majority did not. It's for you to actively participate in your own outcome, Scorpio, because spirit wants you to know just how, just how, just how powerful that you can manipulate your outcome by your own magician energy, Scorpio. You're the one that can do it, but your overall, and look, you got the queen of earth. Some of y'all getting, some of y'all happy because your money good. You, you focusing on your, your stability here and it's bringing you a lot of emotional fulfillment because you got to worry about shit. You're grounded. You're focused. You could be having some good news coming in here. You could just be having a good time. You could just be taking it easy here, Scorpio. All right, Spirit, show me Scorpio. What's going on with Scorpio's love, Spirit, for this weekend? Love vibes, Spirit. Show me Scorpio's. What do we need to know for Scorpio's, Spirit? Show me Scorpio. Who Big cars, Scorpio. Ooh. Who? Well, you going to fall out there and I ain't mad at you, Ace of Air. Ooh, Ace of Fire. And the freaking Four of Fire, which is the four of wands. Scorpio, look, 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 at. <laughs> look, at, look at here. I said, a look at here. <laughs> God dang, some of y'all... Look, oh, some of y'all doing exactly what you should be doing, Scorpio. This is why it's like this here, see? It's like Spirit saying, look, if you want better, I'm telling you how to get it. In every area of your life, it still applies. You have to be willing to put in that work. You still have to take the lead. And some Scorpios are indeed doing that. Scorpio, you got the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, the Four of Wands, the Nine of Cups, and the Queen of Earth. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Some of y'all didn't get this success until you walked away from a situation in this Eight of Waters here. Some of you guys had to up your game, and the only way you could up your game was to walk away. Walk away from unhealthy people, people who were draining you. And all you were trying to do was just bless them and be uplifting to them and give to them, Scorpio. But you didn't walk away from somebody, Scorpio. Oh, so you may have walked away from your emotions momentarily because you focus on your stability in this queen of earth. And she is so beautiful. Oh, Scorpio, look at you. Scorpio, you're so beautiful. 
Oh, Scorpio, you're so beautiful. Look at you and elegant. Look at you. You're so classy, Scorpio. What's that? All right. Boy, these are some beautiful cards. I forgot just how beautiful these cards are. All right. Let's get it done. And nine to five want to come out. See, you could be on some other stuff, Scorpio. It's almost like you've walked away from your emotions, Scorpio. You're guarded. You're guarding your energy here. And now you're just focusing on beautiful things in your own personal life. And it's almost like you're blocking love. Ooh, Scorpio, this is so sweet. You're just so beautiful, Scorpio. You are. Because it's almost like you, you, you may be like, look, spirit, I have love. I want love, but I don't want to get hurt. I don't want to deal with those things. So I'm just going to... Put this energy, all this love that I have into what I can build for myself. And I feel like you're kind of blocking, you're trying to block off things and you're focusing on your money and you're happy. <laughs> so something is good for you, but in behind the scenes, you got opportunities that are coming your way that I feel like is about to break down this barrier, this wall with this nine of fire here. Because I feel like you're wounded, you know, but... You, life has wounded you. You know, the relationships, just life itself here. You still want love, but I feel like you're not going to focus on it, especially in this queen of earth here. You're happy in, in this queen of earth energy here because it does not challenge you to open up your heart like that. And, you know, so you can block it off, but you got somebody coming in here. For, this, is a, this is a relationship for fire. It's a four wands here, Scorpio. New beginning here. Look, look, this is just crazy here, Scorpio. Look, some more good news of some money. You got the fairies that's bringing you down. Fortune to page of earth here, Scorpio. Ooh, uh, let's see here. All right, Spirit, what else for Scorpio? Spirit, show me. chariot isn't that beautiful this looks like fall colors doesn't it because you look at this ace of fire that's a pumpkin oh these are the right cards for this season scorpio look at this oh scorpio somebody oh scorpio some somebody may be about to go to a a a masquerade ball oh that sounds so fun don't it oh scorpio that would be nice to have a masquerade ball here Somebody's gonna be somebody's about to have a fairy tale. Something, something is something magical is happening here, Scorpio. Look at this. You bet some of y'all about to travel to something. You may have someone may either you're about to travel. Maybe someone has won won a trip, a paid trip, a very elegant trip where you got chauffeur. Someone's gonna chauffeur you. It's almost like, you know how you, someone may want to take you out on a date where they have chariots, where you can ride the chariots. I just see a couple in the chariot walking in this fall energy here under those beautiful colored leaves, the pumpkins. Oh, Scorpio, some of you guys are about to travel here, Scorpio. You're about to travel to something, to a big, to a big event here, Scorpio, because there's an opportunity. It's almost like you're going to get an invitation to a big event here, Scorpio, and you're going to be looking so beautiful and so elegant and so you're going to be mesmerizing here, Scorpio. And it's almost going to be like a Cinderella story. Ooh, Scorpio, let's see. Ooh, look, ooh, look, 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 look. See, Will of Fortune. Ooh, <laughs> See, something is faded. Something is destined to happen, Scorpio. I don't care how much you guard it. Something is faded. It's almost like something is coming for you. and You can't do nothing about it because it's good. You got Wheel of Fortune here, Scorpio. Ooh. All right, Spirit. One more card for Scorpio, Spirit. What's going on here? The sun. Ooh, Scorpio, look. The sun. Ooh, Scorpio, this is beautiful. See, walking away, you're going to eat the water again here. Ooh, Scorpio, you may have walked away from someone right into your happily ever after. You may have walked away from, 
You may have thought that you was giving up on love or taking a break from your emotions, but I feel like it's coming back. Something, a, a better opportunity is in store for you. Look at this. You got the Wheel of Fortune. You got the Sun card, the, um, the Chariot, and the Wheel of Fortune. These are majors here. Not to mention that Ace of Wands and that Ace of Earth and the Four of Wands. You got the Nine Nine, the Ace Ace. Ooh, Scorpio, something magnificent is happening, Scorpio. Something is happening here, Scorpio. And it's around this time. Look at this energy. Some of you guys may be about to meet someone on an outdoor event where they're selling um, maybe at a fair or somewhere. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Let's see. Let's let's clarify this, Scorpio. You belong in that. I got cards always mixed in. Let's see here, Scorpio. This is interesting. This is like a fairy tale here, Scorpio. I'm getting fairy tale vibes. Something magical. Fairy tale vibes is what I'm getting here, Scorpio. Because it's gonna seem so fairy tale ish is because everything is gonna be right. I can see the tea lights, the beautiful moonlight, the outdoor energy is not gonna be too cold. It's this fall energy. You see the leaves? Oh, Scorpio, some of you guys are about to go to an outdoors wedding and you're gonna meet someone. You may even catch that bouquet of flowers, Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio, 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 something amazing and magical is happening for you, Scorpio. It's happening. Something is happening, Scorpio. Oh, Spirit, let me contain myself because I can feel it. I mean, look at this energy. Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune, Chariot and Sun. Ace of Pentacles. Oh, Scorpio. Something is destined. It's fate. It's supposed to happen, Scorpio. It's supposed to. This is what you, this is what's supposed to happen for you. Ooh, Scorpio. All right, spirit. Let's let's clarify this for Scorpio spirit. What is all this beautiful, amazing energy about for Scorpios? Got the full card. Some of y'all finna have so much fun. You finna embark on a new journey, Scorpio. And that's probably why that darkest fear showed up in your uh, oracle. It's because you may have so many things coming at you, but they're, some of the things are good. Some of those things could be challenging. But I feel like based on this, you got so many good things, but it's just, you may be overwhelming to you. You may be afraid to take these leaps because you got so many good things or you may just be afraid to do them. So let's see. Let's see why this nine of fire is here. Clarify this nine of fire for Scorpio spirit. Why is this nine of fire here? Nine of fire is clarified by the five of wands because of your inner conflict. Some of you guys are afraid that that's fear based Scorpio. That's what it is. See the hangman. This is why, you know, you made it, but this is a self-induced stuff. This is, this is your own doing your own thoughts with this hangman in the reverse. But I'm not going to take reversals here. See, it's the fear of the unknown with that moon car here, Scorpio. That's what it is. See, <laughs> you keep yourself guarded and you keep yourself stuck um, because of your inner conflict that you're having because of things that you don't see. This is why you have to listen to your intuition. Your intuition sees it because it sees the spiritual realm. It doesn't, because sometimes you can physically see something and it may not even be that. It could be worse than what you see because of the illusions. But I feel like spirit is trying to elevate you in a place where you're confident. You're listening to your intuition. When it said, um, what was that card here? Hold on, let me, give me, let me, let me go back. Darkest fear, seek the truth here. This is you acknowledging that your intuition is speaking to you. You know, it's like some of you guys are afraid because you, you, you're not, you, you're second guessing what spirit is telling you here, Scorpio. And this is why it brings in the negative side, darkest fears start coming up because of the things you cannot see. Even though your intuition is steady telling you, if you're not coming from a healed place 
and you're still needing to heal some things, you still need to get over some things, then you're gonna you're gonna fear the unknown. But that's not spirit don't want you to be in that energy. Spirit telling you to take the lead here. And I feel like for the most part, in every other area of your life, you do. But I feel like when it comes to love, you be like, uh-uh, spirit, that you asking too much now, spirit. Calm down. <laughs> You be like, you're telling me to trust them, Spirit, really? But I'm making money. I'm doing good. I'm happy. The Spirit like, yeah, but it don't work like this. If you want it, you got to trust. You got to take the lead. Put yourself out there. Stop being scared. You ain't got to know every goddamn thing. This to, ain't your intuition telling you? Well, you don't have to physically know it all. Just spiritually know, Scorpio. Because there's no right or wrong ways. It, it, whatever, whatever, it, whatever you're going to get out of a relationship is not going to take you out. This is why the, the, the Seek the Truth is asking you, know how much to give in a situation. It has to be balanced. You, you, no one deserves you to first meet them and you running them down, trying to give them your whole cup. No, that's imbalanced, but that comes from yourself. So it's always something in us that's either going to make it better for us or, or be against us here. There's nothing wrong with loving someone, but in moderation. You can't just meet them and all, already want to just give it all to them because you know, we feel that connection and, and that's just how we, that's how we operate. But it's a, it's a lesson for us because everyone, everyone can't handle that. Everyone ain't going to deal with that. <laughs> They're going to run. So let's see now. Let's see. Let's see about this queen of earth here for you, Scorpio, because I feel like this is, this is the only queen on here. Could be a masculine or a feminine, but this is you and this earth energy, loyal, grounded, focused, stable, uh, you know, focused on your stability here. You could be holding back. <laughs> You could be holding back, but I don't feel, I feel like you're generous, but I feel like when it comes to your emotions, that's the only thing. Because if whatever you're doing financially is making you happy and content, you're not going to pursue love, especially if you're scared. <laughs> but spirit is telling you, you're going to have to, if you want it, you better take the lead because it's here. Ace of fire, ace of wands, ace of earth, four of fire, wheel of fortune, chariot, the sun It's here. Spirit clarify this queen of earth for Scorpio. Why is this here? Queen of Earth is all oh, see, because you've been hurt before and you don't want to deal with nothing dealing with no heartbreak here. So this queen is, is some of you guys are still you know holding on to, you're still holding on to past hurt here. This is why you know you you rather lose yourself in your work than to invest in a loving relationship because you don't want to deal with the pain here, Scorpio. Clarify this Queen of Earth. See, Ace of Swords. But you're about to you about to come out of it though. Maybe you've had this breakthrough. Maybe this is what you're coming out of here. You're ending this. You, you got truth. You got clarity. You have a breakthrough here, Scorpio. And maybe you got a Knight of Cups that's trying to come in to you. They know they ain't got no business talking to no queen. All right, Spirit. Give me one more card for this Queen of Earth. The Hermit. See, some of y'all just staying to yourself. <laughs> Some of y'all just stand to yourself healing, soul searching because you want answers, you want truth, you want clarity. And I feel like that's probably hindering some Scorpios because your past heartache and pain, your past relationships, they didn't honor it right. They just did what they did. But spirit is going to bring that all to you. You're going to have a major breakthrough. But spending some time uh, isolating yourself is good for you because it puts you in a better position for the universe to really talk to you and open up to you. Especially if you are introspecting, then you're going to come out with what you need and it's going to make you better, especially with this Ace of Swords. You're going to be over this heartbreak or this Three Swords. You may not even still be heartbroken, but the memory of it here, it still hurts. Like, like I said, I feel like you can focus on money. You ain't that no hard you don't want to deal with no hard thing that's why you got the heart chakra here because spirit is telling you you're gonna to have to open up their heart space release all the negative things know your worth don't give in too much you know in your relationship if you're being cheated or not scorpio you don't even need your intuition to tell you that you already know it's gonna be obvious here so what's up with this eight nine of water for scorpio spirit clarify this nine of water Nana water is clarified by the Hierophant here. So some of y'all are emotionally fulfilled because you're staying connected with spirit. 
Maybe you guys have started a, a, a group. Maybe you're going to a, a spiritual support system here. Maybe you're surrounded by your spiritual soul tribe here, Scorpio. But I feel like you're being enlightened. You, you Someone is adding wisdom and, and counseling you on a spiritual level here, Scorpio. And you may just really be praying and soul search because you do have the hermit card. But see, that's, that's, the, that's the unique thing about Scorpio. That's how we do. Scorpios go within here, you know. You know, you go within because something is bringing you emotional fulfillment. So someone is sowing into you on a spiritual level here. And like I said, it could just be you, you doing this. You know, you could be just be doing this. Clarify this nine of water for Scorpio. See, nine of wands because you're trying to get out of this. Now they go to nine of wands again. See? You do you some of you guys are healing. That's what you're doing. You're healing. Some of you guys may have even start seeking counseling too with this hierarch in here because it affected you. This nine of ones, you got the nine of ones twice. See, it's still for some of y'all, it's still affecting you on an emotional level for relationships, but it's not stopping you on a material level because you're still doing it. You put that energy back into you, your stability, but on an emotional loving way, relationship. It, you, you're challenged in that, but I feel like you're getting some help, though, Scorpio. See, you're getting some help. Look, they're going to page of swords. Somebody's been doing some research. You've been studying something. Something has been helping you on an emotional, spiritual level. This is why you got the nine of cups. Something is keeping you content here on an emotional level, and you don't have anybody. So I feel like you're trying to get your shit together before you can get it with anyone else, but Spirit is telling you you're going to have to take the lead, though, Scorpio. Who and I guess that's for those who are ready here, but I feel like you are ready. You just don't know it yet, Scorpio. <laughs> Clarify the nine of water. Oof. All right, spirit, nine of water. See, Queen of Swords. That is Queen of Swords is. See, some of y'all just detached. Y'all just detached. Some of y'all trying to learn how to love again, Scorpio. You're trying. That's why you got that heart chakra here. Because you just detached from your emotions. You done got hardened. And you don't want that in your heart. You don't want that in your energy. So some of you guys are trying to seek counseling. Some of you guys are seeking out to a spiritual advisor. You're getting spiritual. You know, somebody's connecting to either a therapist or a spiritual guidance here. But you're trying to come out of this negative energy because I feel like, like, I feel like every other thing is good. But when it comes to love, that's a challenge. It doesn't seem like the love is a challenge, Scorpio. And I feel like spirit is trying to get you the help that you need so that you can be prepared for what is coming. Because I feel like something magical is trying to take place, Scorpio. So what's up with this ace of earth here? The ace of pentacles, ace of earth here. Look at this. Ace of earth. Spirit, clarify this ace of earth for Scorpio. Why is this here? Ace of earth is clarified by the three of cups. So you got an opportunity coming your way for you to go out, hang out, market. You could be market. You could be back to a uh, market. You could be, you could be going on some type of business uh, dinner, 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 business date here. That could lead, see, some type of investment here, see, with the seven of pentacles here. But it's in, it's going to end up giving you something more. Look, the ten of cups, damn. And look, there go the two of cups underneath. See, this is going to end up being your soulmate, honey. Somebody's going to have an opportunity to go on a business date. It could be, a, it's almost like an opportunity is going to present itself to you. You're going to have to go out with this person. Could be a bit a business dinner. But I feel like this is something that you're going to invest in. And whatever it is, is going to bring you a lot of contentment. You're going to get this 10 of cups. Maybe you're going to go to a, a uh, maybe you're going to have a, maybe some Scorpio is going to have an opportunity to buy a new home here. But it could also be that whoever this person is could, could be a realtor. <laughs> with this 10 of cups, someone could own property here. Now, if this isn't you about to partner up with someone on a business, but I still see business, 
This Ace of Pentacles is an opportunity. This is a big thing here. This Three of Cups is celebratory energy. You could be about to close on a deal here. Some of you guys are closing on a deal here and you're purchasing a new home. And for others, someone is trying to sow into something that's going to make you happy. And it could be a relationship because the Ten of Cups is your happily ever after here. See, Spirit trying to prepare you for something. You've got the opportunities. Ace of Pentacles is going to lead you to your Ten of Cups, Scorpio. Ooh, this new opportunity is going to open the door for your happily ever after, Scorpio. Notice you got the four of wands here too, the four of fire here. Spirit, clarify the four of fire for Scorpio Spirit. Why is this here? Four of fire is clarified by... Six of Pentacles. See, somebody's trying to come in here and invest, Scorpio. You got a partnership that's trying to, some, some type of partnership, business. Some Somebody's trying to invest. So you, so this is a merchant being generous here. Someone is trying to give into this four of fire here. The same energy right here, this Ace of Pentacles with the Ten of Cups. Three of Cups. It's a partnership. Someone's trying to, it's almost like you're going to have opportunities that's going to present themselves to you that can lead into something more. Someone wants to invest towards building a relationship with you, Scorpio. Could be a twin flame too, Scorpio. Ooh, and they're generous too, Scorpio. This is a merchant being generous with the six of pentacles. Clarify the four of air for Scorpio. Why is this here, spirit? Four, excuse me, four of fire. The four of wands for Scorpio. Ooh. Queen of Wands energy here. See, someone, see, see you in this energy where you don't care. You could have a, a fire sign that want to come in here and do this to, with you too, Scorpio. For you masculine Scorpios, you may have a fire sign feminine that's trying to come to you. They want to invest with you. They want to build something with you. They want a relationship. <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> So uh, hear the hear the hear the masculine Scorpios. If y'all ain't ready to settle down, you better get out the way. Cause somebody coming in, they they finna come. This is the type of energy male Scorpio that you got a chick that's gonna come. That she's outgoing, she's beautiful, she's sexy, she's confident. But she's the type of person that that when she comes to your house, she's always decorating your shit. She's always saying, oh, you should do this. You look up, she done bought you pictures and shit because she's putting her stamp on it because this is something that she wants. She ain't just doing it for your house to look good. No, she want to be a family. She want a relationship with you. But this is an investor. She believes in investing with you. And she's very, very attractive too. Now for you, for you feminine Scorpios, I feel like whoever this person is that, that wants this relationship with you, um, that's coming your way. And I feel like it's an opportunity. It's fate. It's destiny. It's fate and destiny for every, for, it doesn't matter because you got all these aces here. There's something that's supposed to happen here. Then I feel like someone finds you beautiful. They find you, you they see you on your game. You notice the queen of cups ain't came out. <laughs> you got the queen of pentacles, the queen of swords and the queen of wands. Someone feels like your idea to, to be in a relationship to invest with. You got the drive. You got the passion. You got the ambition here. You're not all over the place emotional here. And this is somebody who wants to build something with you, Scorpio. Ooh. Clarify the four of, er, four of fire for Scorpio. Four of fire is clarified by the eight of wands. There go some messages here. Something taking off real fast. And see, it's almost like somebody's going to want to take it fast with you, Scorpio. Someone is, see, look, there go that chariot car. Somebody wants things to take fast. I feel like it's not going to take long. Or somebody, either someone's about to reach out to you, communicate this to you. You're going to have a lot of people that's trying to send you love messages. But I feel like this is what they're doing. They they look at you like this. They 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 want to flirt with you. They find themselves attracted to you and they can easily see themselves investing into something more permanent here. Some, ooh, something more committed here. Oh, Scorpio. <laughs> it's crazy. Now, what's up with this ace of fire here? This ace of fire. Got all these aces in here. You got the ace of swords, ace of earth, ace of fire in here, Scorpio. Oh, you got some shit going on here. Clarify this ace of fire for Scorpio spirit. Ace, oh, 
There go that two of cups again. See, this is why spirit is telling you, you know, if, if you're in a relationship with someone, your heart, it's almost like you're healing from past shit, but you, but you, your heart got to be in an open space. Now it's almost like spirit is saying, look here, Scorpio. Now, all of the things that you have experienced from your past, don't hold on to the regret. Don't hold on to the pain. Just hold on to the lesson and move forward and apply these lessons to this new thing because something magical is about to happen. Use what you've learned in this new situation here. Don't give too much. Know your worth. Give as well as receive because we saw giving and receiving. Give as well as receive. Always take action towards your happiness. Don't allow yourself to get stuck in unequally yoked relationships. If it's not reciprocity, it's not for you. And that lead energy will tell you to move your ass. You ain't got to stay stagnant with nobody. Because it's like now what spirit got coming to you, is you're going to need it. You're going to need to... To really put yourself out here because it's coming for you. You can't be from an emotional place still holding on to. And I, and I, like I say, I see somebody really healing. Someone is healing, but you still, you're going to have to. But that's, that's again, that's why that heart chakra card came up. It's like you're healing. You saw some type of spiritual enlightenment, some spiritual guidance, maybe some physical therapy here. But, it, you know, it's going to be a challenge for you. I feel like unless you, you maybe you're going to do it. I, I I feel like you're going to do it, but I just feel like you just really had to overcome some things. So this is why you are afraid to Scorpio. And, and, and now ain't the time to be afraid is what I feel like. I just feel like now you got a soulmate coming in here. Someone who has sent the right one. I feel like, let me just keep on. Let me see. Ace of Fire. Ace of Fire up. Five of Pentacles here. Ooh, Scorpio could be someone who. Ah, oh, shit, see? Now, there you go, the Queen of Cups. There she go. See, some of y'all don't not feeling this, Scorpio. Y'all y'all not on that level yet. Because I feel like you got a soulmate coming here, but some of y'all still not in, investing emotionally here. You're still feeling the, the the pain of past things here with this five of pentacles and this queen of cups. It's almost like spirit don't want you to be needy. The spirit don't want you to have to, you know, it because I did see that depth. See, there it is again. See, and I feel like this is for you, Scorpio. See, this is what it is. This devil energy is playing against you, Scorpio. Spirit don't want you to feel like you're not good enough. Of uh, spirit don't want you to always feel at a disadvantage with your emotions. You don't have to beg for emotions here. But I feel like for some of you Scorpios, if you're not ready, then it's not going to work for you because you still need to let go of some things. Like with that eight of cups again, you still need to walk away from a past thing here, Scorpio. You can't go treat this new person like what you went through in the past. You can't carry this over with this new, but I feel like this is something new. This is something you had to learn from your past. And some of you guys are still dealing with it, trying to get rid of it. And spirit's telling you, you're going to have to leave it alone. Get your emotions out of it. Don't, don't look at it from an emotional place anymore. Emotions are going to happen. Let them, let them create and form on their own. Don't you go in a relationship with your cup out needing you because you got it all from yourself. But if, if you're, if you're damaged and need healing, you're not going to see it that way with this devil energy, Scorpio. So I feel like this is what spirit is telling you. You're going to have to walk away from this shit, Scorpio. Now go to eight of cups again. Leave that alone. You can't keep thinking that everybody's going to do you wrong when the seven of swords energy, because you still, some of you still got that same energy because what spirit is bringing to you is something new. This ace of fire with this two of cups, this is a new energy coming in. But you can't you can't bring the same old patterns into the new because it's, it's not going to work, Scorpio. It's not. But you got it here, though. But Spirit is telling you to walk away from that. Walk away from the deception. Walk away from all that shit. Detach from it. Transform in. They just don't, don't worry about that. They, they don't belong to you no more, Scorpio, unless you make it. Because what this is why Spirit telling you to take the lead, but... Take the lead in, in balancing your emotions. Not too much a feminine, not too much masculine, but a balance here. You, can, you can't give it all. And so this is probably why some of you Scorpios are blocking your heart out because you don't want to be in that position again. And some of you Scorpios are still in that energy. 
Some of you Scorpios are doing the healing and you're doing what you need to do to get out of that energy while others is, is, is carrying over to something new and it's gonna it's, it's not going to work. <laughs> it's not going to work if you carry this end with you. You got to start over and, and judge this new energy for what it is without the past attaching to your thoughts. Your darkest fears can stop you from miss can really hinder you from missing out on what is destiny. It's, it's yours. This is yours if you claim it, but your claiming has to, your actions have to line up with it. So now you have the sun card. See, this is your, this is your, this is the everything is all right card. This is the Friday night cookouts, the, the fried grease, the collard greens, the candy yams. Everybody happy, 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 money good, health good. Babies coming out healthy and things. Scorpio, this is it. Could be dealing with a Leo, too. You could be dealing with a Leo or a Cancer or a Capricorn, too, Scorpio. Spirit, clarify the sun card for Scorpio Pisces. Virgo. Huh? I say you're just going to attract the sea. Spirit's telling you, Scorpio, keep that light on. Keep the light on here. Don't, don't let the dark overshadow you. Don't let the, 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 the negativity overshadow you. Don't let the negativity cast that, that darkness over you. Spirit telling you to stay in the light because you got the sun card. Clarify the sun card. You get the freaking sun card. See? Spirit says stay illuminated. Stay awoke, Scorpio. You can get it. See? Clarify the sun and the sun. Sun and the sun here. Sun and the sun. Is that the Empress? I know that. Oh, shit. The, the, the freaking Empress card. And I was wondering where that was at the Ace of Cup. There it is, Scorpio. See? Ooh, Spirit is telling you, if you stay illuminated, you keep your energy lit. You know, you, you have to... The sun card, see, the sun card is such an amazing, powerful energy. If you stay in this sun card, Scorpio, you will continue to grow. Look at they go to Empress and the Ace of Cups. Some of y'all, look, they go to they go to birth. You're about to have rebirth. You're about to birth some new things. New things is coming your way, Scorpio. There's growth. If you stay in the sun, if you stay illuminated, if you stay under this, if you stay under, under the mighty umbrella of the most high, Scorpio, things will continue to grow because the sun is what grows your seeds that you plant some of y'all are pregnant you're gonna be pregnant and you're gonna have a new beautiful baby you look this is what it's about you got the sun sun twice some of y'all about to have y'all gonna have a little boy in this connection but see this is what spirit telling you you can have scorpio this is why all these queens in here because you the freaking empress Ooh, scorpio Oh, Scorpio, this Ace of Cups. See, you got, now you got all the Aces. You got the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Fire, Scorpio. Oh, see, I told you this is, this is your time. Spirit say it's your time if you claim it, claim it, and you, you put, you take the action in that lead energy. You got to take the action because it's not going to fall in your lap. You got to fight for it. You got to work hard to get it. So now we have this cherry card and some, sometimes your fight ain't even on the outside of you. It's just from within. That devil energy can really stop a lot of things, Scorpio. Especially in your emotions, Scorpio. Clarify the chariot for Scorpio spirit. Why is this here? The chariot is clarified by the page of coins. Good news coming your way. Somebody en route to you with some good news, honey. <laughs> You got some good news coming your way, baby. You got good news of money, good news of opportunities. Someone may be trying to invite you out. Ooh, shit, see? The Ten of Pentacles, there it go. See, somebody's coming to you, girl. Ooh, shit, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. <laughs> somebody's coming to you that's going to change your life. The star card. Somebody's about to come make your wishes and your dreams are about to. I told you it felt magical. I knew it felt magical. It just felt magical. You got somebody's on their way to you to, to make all your dreams come true, Scorpio. This is magical. It's almost like as soon as you release all that negative ass shit, Scorpio, stop sabotaging, stop being afraid and just take the lead and just be bold and daring. And know that there is a something that's going to catch you if you step off that, that cliff, Scorpio. Somebody's coming in here to you. Somebody's going to reach out to you. It could be through 
social media. It could be, uh, you know, through a telephone. Someone could literally know you, Scorpio. Or it just could be, uh, you know, someone calling you. You know, it could be someone calling you too, Scorpio. So let's see. Now, your last card is this Wheel of Fortune. This is fate. This is destiny. This is luck. This is money. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Scorpio. The Wheel of Fortune. They go to Page of Cups. Who? They go. There goes some good news. Page of Cups. Six of Wands. <laughs> So you're going to have an encounter here. You're going to have an unexpected encounter with someone, I feel like. And both of you guys are going to be highlighted. It's like the universe is going to point you two out to each other, Scorpio, because I feel like this is what it's supposed to be. And it's going to seem magical with that seven of cups because out of it is going to come this new beginning. They're going to ace of wands again, Scorpio. Ooh, see? This this is fate. This is destiny. This is this is this is abundance here. You can this is you could be running to a secret admirer, somebody who's crushing on you. There, this is whoever this person is. This is a new love interest coming your way, and it's not going to be an accident. It's going to be the right time. It's the right opportunity because it is supposed to happen here, Scorpio. It's going to be a lot of attention on you and this person. I feel like. It's going to be an instant recognition between two souls because of the dynamics of this will of fortune is fate. It's just like, it's just like everything's going to fall into place here. You could be in the, in the room full of a thousand people, but they're going to only see you. They could be in a room with a thousand people, but for some reason, you're only going to see this person here. I'm telling you, and it's supposed to be, it's going to seem like an illusion. It's going to seem fairy tale is here, but it's all because of this new passionate beginning that's attached with this fate, this will of fortune here, Scorpio. Somebody is fate, Scorpio. You're about to meet someone and it's not by chance. And for some of you, Scorpio, this is what you manifested here, Scorpio. It's just that you manifested this, but some of y'all have been so hurt that y'all don't want it. <laughs> you're scared of it now, Scorpio. But I'm telling you that you're about to get, you, Scorpio, Scorpio, this, you know, and, and I, it's just, it just seems like it's just so hard to find the right words because it's like, I can say this is your happily ever after. I can say your dreams are about to come true, but y'all probably wouldn't even watch that. But if you see this, if you could actually feel this, you would see that this is for real here. How, how do you, how do you, how do you describe this? I, I don't think I can say it. This is a magical faded event that you do not want to miss. That's what I'm going to say. God damn, this is a, this is a magical Faded event that you do not want to miss. And I can I feel like it's a Cinderella story. That's what I feel, Scorpio. I feel like this is Cinderella, Scorpio. Ooh. You're going to be looking all cute. I feel like somebody's going to invite you out. And y'all going to have these hell of a conversation. Whoever this person that you're supposed to meet, that you're going to meet, that is a, 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 a magical faded event, it's going to be all types of opportunities with this person, Scorpio. I'm telling you. Spirit just telling you, just get out of the way of it and let it unfold naturally because this is going to turn out just fine, Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, this is what I have, honey. So if this video resonates, please like, share, and subscribe, Scorpio. Hit that notification bell, Scorpio. Leave me a comment and I will talk to you on the next Scorpio video. Bye, Scorpios.